Hi guys, this is Mel from That's My MO, as in That's My Milo and Olivia. I'm here to help. If you have any questions about parrots, please ask. I am trying to get all the parrots to stay in their forever homes and don't go to rescues, especially cockatoos. And this is the purpose of my channel, to inform people that are getting a parrot or already have one and have questions. So if you like what I do, please subscribe, please like, and please share. Thank you, and as always, have a good day, good night, good evening, whenever you are. This is Mel from That's My MO. Today I'm going to talk about how you can get your bird to trust you, especially if you have just rescued a bird uh, and they're really shy or scared. This was my case for Milo. So I'm just going to show you what I did and what helped. In the background, you can hear Olivia. She is very verbal and she's been learning lots of words, which is another video. So the first thing I did, he was very shy and would only sit in the back of the cage. So one thing I learned from a book that I bought is that you don't want to intimidate them. So first you just kind of sit and not give them any eye contact as to not intimidate them. Now this might not work so good with mine, mine since he's not used to me, but I'm just gonna try to demonstrate. So we just kind of sit, move around, show them that you're not a threat. Another thing you can do is Read your favorite book for an hour and what you should do, you can read out loud. Uh, you can leave, read out so they can get used to your voice and again knowing that your presence is not a, a threat. them. Then if it's a few days later that you've had them and they've kind of gotten accustomed to you a little bit, you open the door, show them that it is okay to come outside and some of the birds might come out immediately because that's what they're used to do if they are a rescue. The one thing that has worked really well for me and I read this in a book that I have purchased for birds that are really shy and timid, you give them a, a quick glance, wait for them to look at you, and once they look at you, you avert your eyes and you lower your head, showing them the top of your head. You do this for a couple seconds, then you slowly look up again, wait for them to look at you, just a short and quick glance. He looked at me and I lower my head and show him the top of my head. And I do that maybe 10 times. Now, Milo doesn't look at me like that anymore because he's now used to me. But when I first got him, this is what we did. This was kind of reaffirming that I'm not a threat, that I'm not trying to challenge him by staring him down. Do not stare. Um, and then now the next step that you do, you sit next to the door with the door open. You talk to him, but, but you don't look at him. You glance at him, you look down, but you talk to him, you say, hi, so what is it? I mean, you might feel down doing it, 
Nobody's seeing you. Nobody sees you, so just do it. Hi, so what do you have here? Oh, it looks like you have some good vegetables. Mm -hmm. Some acorn squash, some cucumber. Yum. Your cage, my goodness, your cage is a mess. Oh, look who's here. Well, hello. Again, you look at him and you show him the top of your head. You look at him, show him the top of your head. And then after this, this could be days, obviously, or minutes, you never know, um, you offer your hand. And see how he's a little bit standoffish? That's because he has that skittish nature, even though I've had him for a while now. Do you want pets? And you always ask, do you want this? Do you want that? You never say, give me pets. Because they can hear it in the voice that it's like more of a demand than a request. Do you want pets? Do you want pets? Well, may I have pets? May I? No, not right now. And then you respect that. If he says, if in his body language says no, you respect that and you don't do it. Okay, then you just wait a little bit. Another thing they really like is when they're being sung to. Now, I'm not like my daughter who can sing really well. I don't have a good voice, but guess what? Your bird doesn't care. I love you, you love me, we're a happy family. Barney. <laughs> or you just make it up. La, 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 Quick glance and look down. Show him the top of your head. Quick glance and look down. And when you sing, don't stare at him. I know you want to because that's what you do. But when you sing, don't stare at him. Look around him, not directly at him. When you look at his eyes, you overt them and you lower your head. La, 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 la. La la la, la la la, the sun is shining and the snow is melting. La. And then, after a little while, you try again and see maybe I'll let you touch him. Are you okay now? May I have a pet? May I have a pet? And here he goes. He is offering. Did you see how he's lowered his head? And he's offering. Now I may pet him. You don't just go for it and take it. That's like, it's all a, a, a ritual or it's all a, I don't know. It's animal behavior, I guess. I don't, I don't know exactly, but I read this, all these things that have been heavily researched and in several books that I've purchased that you must wait until he offers his head for him to be scratched. You don't just go and, and you don't do any fast and sudden movements. You do it real slow. So you know, you move your hands, you move it back. Because guess what? If I were to quickly move, see, I startle him. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, my love. Okay, can I have some more pets? May I have some more pets? Can I have some pets? No? Again, you just respect that, that he doesn't want any more pets. And after a while, he'll come closer and closer, and eventually you'll be able to pet him, at least pet him. Um, he might not just step up on you, like this one is difficult. I've had him since April of last year, and he will step up, but only if I put him on the bottom, on the floor first. That's in one of my previous videos. Yeah, so this can take, again, days and weeks. Uh, you can just sit and relax and watch TV while sitting next to him. Let him come to you. He must come to you. 
do not ever force him. He's in a cage, and if you put your arm in there and you corner them, all they're gonna do is feel scared uh, and not building that trust. And it takes a long time to build some trust, but then it takes only a split second for you to ruin that trust. And then you have to build it back up, and sometimes you can't. So he needs to come to you, and sometimes this can take weeks, months. I mean, I had him, like I said, since last year, April, and I wanna say it took him, I could pet him pretty much right away, but just real softly, but it took him a good two months to come, come to me and sit next to me, and it took him about maybe two to three months until he came out of the cage um, on his own. Again, this should be on his own. Don't make him come out. No, never make him, make him go in either. So if you don't have enough time, if you let him out and you don't have enough time for him to, because eventually they'll just go in by themselves, then better not let him out because you don't want to force them. You will do so much damage if you scare them with a towel or with a, a stick or, or, I don't know, I mean, however you guys have been forcing them to go in. So I also have another video on that, how I have trained my little boy in the cage on his own. Uh, it works 90% of the time, and sometimes it doesn't, and then I'll have to do it again and again, and then eventually he'll go in. But it doesn't always work. Oh, I hope that these tips help a little bit. You hear that I have jungle noise in the back, which is calming for your bird. So while you sit here, you can have jungle noise going in the background. There's also a calming bird music that you can pull up on YouTube that it's really amazing. If you pull that up on YouTube, it just say calming bird noise. It's just some songs and like really it calms them down. I mean, it, it's just, I don't know what they do in the music, but it calms them down. And if you just sit in the room, be present, show him that you're not a threat at all um, by not touching him or giving him like direct glares stare downs you can do a short quick glance and again head down hi baby and again if you want to touch him you ask may i have a pet hello may i have a pet and then see he offers his head he lowers his head he offers it and then i pet i don't just um, go for it sometimes i mean of course i do but not all the time okay so that's it i think so if you like what I do, which I really, really hope you do. Please do me a favor and subscribe because I want to try and reach as many people as I can. And if you subscribe and then share to all your friends, then um, I have a greater chance of sharing all my knowledge with those that are looking into getting a bird, already just got a bird and have lots of questions. And I want to answer those questions because I don't want you to give up. I don't want you ever to give up on those babies when you get them and they're shy for a month or two and you get frustrated because you haven't had you haven't been able to pet them at all because he bites and so on. I mean, he bit, he bit so much. He was very aggressive when I first got him. Uh, it just takes time and knowledge. So I'm here for you to answer any questions that you have. Yeah, so here's my shirt. My, this, this time shirt is quite funny. You'd have to read it. It just shows your command center, flight and navigation, and fuel detection. Anyway, this one is cute. Um, cute red butt and bomb dispenser. <laughs> yep, very funny. I think it's very funny. So um, if you like what I do, please subscribe, please share, please like. And as always, there you go. Have a good day, good morning, good weekend, good evening, whenever you are. Bye.